Hi, Blockchain Visionaries. I'm George Levy. In this video, I'm going to be buying some pizza using Bitcoins. The reason I'm doing this is in celebration of Bitcoin Pizza Day, which takes place every single year on May 22nd. Now, in the process, I'm going to be buying some pizza using Bitcoin and showing you multiple ways which you can do the same. I'm doing this specifically to celebrate May 22nd, 2010, which was the first retail purchase ever made using Bitcoin. On that day, a man named Laszlo Hanyeks bought two Papa John pizzas for 10,000 Bitcoins. Today, I'm going to be buying some pizza from Papa John's, but paying far less than 10,000 Bitcoins. In the process, you'll learn exactly how I can do that. If you're a new viewer, I encourage you to subscribe. I bring you brand new videos every single week. Welcome aboard. And if you have any questions, please leave them below. I look forward to sharing information with you. Let's do this. If you're familiar with my work, you'll no doubt know that every single year I celebrate Pizza Day. That is, May 22nd, I go and I buy some pizza to commemorate the first retail purchase ever made using Bitcoin, which was two pizzas bought on May 22nd, 2010. So let me take you back to that day as we move forward and I actually wind up buying some pizza from Papa John's using Bitcoin today. Now, here's a key thing I want to point out to you. If we begin the whole thread, we can look back to bitcointalk.org and this specific thread you're seeing here was posted by a man named Laszlo. Laszlo wrote this thread on Bitcoin Talk specifically on May 18th, 2010. On that day, Laszlo was hungry. Now, Laszlo was mining Bitcoins and he had a lot of Bitcoins. So to him, 10,000 Bitcoins really wasn't such a big deal because Bitcoins at the time were not used for paying for anything. So he was like, OK, I've got all these Bitcoins. I'm hungry. How about I use my Bitcoins to get some pizzas? So he goes ahead and he posts that he'll pay 10,000 Bitcoins for a couple of pizzas. Now, we're talking May 18th, 2010 when 10,000 Bitcoins were not worth anything because really you had never ever paid for anything using Bitcoins. Cut to today, the price as you saw is hovering around $8,000. So $8,000 per Bitcoin, 10,000 Bitcoins, you're looking at $80 million worth of Bitcoins for a couple of pizzas. But he couldn't see that far in advance and he actually was breaking new ground when he actually posted this. So specifically on May 18th, 2010, Laszlo said he wanted to pay 10,000 Bitcoins for a couple of pizzas. The thread started taking life. He stated exactly where he was. People started saying, I'd buy you a Domino's for you if I knew how to pay from Europe. A lot of people trying to get involved, but they really didn't know how to do this. Now, everything changed on this specific post. It happened on May 22nd, 2010 when Laszlo reported that he successfully traded 10,000 Bitcoins for pizza and he thanked a man named Jerkos. Furthermore, Laszlo posted this. This specific posting shows the two pizzas that Laszlo Hanyex bought using 10,000 Bitcoins. Now mind you, at the time, nobody had ever used Bitcoins for anything. So to score two pizzas from those 10,000 Bitcoins was a huge achievement because otherwise they were just like video game points in your computer. They really didn't amount for anything. But with this specific action, that defined the price of a Bitcoin to a quarter of a penny. So if you factor in 10,000 Bitcoins for $25, you really get four Bitcoins for every one cent worth of pizza here. Now, let's look at what else is on this specific page. In this page, uh, Laszlo posts his Bitcoin address. Now, that's Laszlo's Bitcoin address, and nobody can access whatever Bitcoins are sent to this address except Laszlo, because Laszlo knows the private keys associated with this. This is important because in this same page, Laszlo saying, I don't do social media. The people pretending to be me on Twitter, Reddit are begging for donations or scammers. And many people have gotten scammed because somebody pretending to be Laszlo Hanyex may say, hey, I lost all my Bitcoins because I actually bought some pizzas. Therefore, I have no money. Please send me some Bitcoins. But the only Bitcoin address that you can actually be confident belongs to Laszlo is this one. And with that information, we can learn a lot of things. So let's take that Bitcoin address and move to a block explorer. So what I want to show you here is a block explorer and a block explorer will show you what's inside the Bitcoin blockchain. This specific block explorer is focused on Bitcoin. So I took Laszlo's Bitcoin address and I looked up what transactions were associated with it. And as it shows us, there are 3,337 transactions which have been associated with this one Bitcoin address. But within those transactions, there's this transaction. 
This specific transaction was created on block number 57,043 and it took place on May 22nd, 2010. And that transaction corresponds to 10,000 bitcoins being sent to one bitcoin address. This is the transaction that Laszlo created to be able to send 10,000 bitcoins to one address. We know now that this is Jerkos who received 10,000 bitcoins and after that Jerkos went and bought some pizza for Laszlo. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut to today and I'm going to actually go through the process of buying some pizza from Papa John's. Now, you may have seen in other videos that I've posted where I walk into restaurants and I've gone to Burger King in Arnhem in the Netherlands and I've paid using my Bitcoin wallet. I've gone to Mexican restaurants in South Florida where I pay with my Bitcoin wallet. I've gone to supermarkets in Curacao where I pay with my Bitcoin wallet. There's many places where I use my Bitcoin wallet. Unfortunately, Papa John's currently doesn't accept Bitcoin wallets. So making a direct Bitcoin payment at a Papa John's is impossible with the current uh point of sale systems they have. However, there are alternatives and I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to do that. A key thing that many people are not aware of is that actually you can buy gift cards using Bitcoin. And one good provider of uh, selling gift cards for Bitcoin is eGifter. So if you go to eGifter.com, you'll find the option to be able to buy with Bitcoin. I know they carry Papa John's so I'll be able to buy a Papa John's gift card. While we're here, I also want to tell you about gift.com because it's another place where you can actually buy gift cards using Bitcoin. But for the purposes of this example, I'm going to focus on eGifter and I'm going to log inside to buy that Papa John's pizza and proceed to buy my pizza. So I just logged into eGifter.com into my account and I'm going to proceed to buy a Papa John's gift card and pay using Bitcoin. To do so, the first thing I need to select is buy gift cards. So I'm going to go here and I have a wide range of different options for me to buy a gift card. I could buy them through Applebee's, Home Depot, Macy's, but none of those places sell the pizza I want. In fact, I'm not going to buy Domino's pizza. I'm going to buy Papa John's pizza because I want specifically Papa John's to celebrate Laszlo Hanyek's original two pizzas. So for that, I'm going to select Papa John and I'm going to select that. Now, here's what's interesting. I have the option here to select whether I want $5, $25, $50, $500 gift card if I wanted to. I'm just going to buy $25, which is going to be enough for me to buy the pizza that I want. And I'm going to buy it for myself. The system will now tell me which type of payment option I want. I have set my system to pay with Bitcoin, but you can pay other options. You can pay with a credit card, you can pay with PayPal, you can pay with Amazon Pay, you can pay with Ethereum, Litecoin, which are other cryptos, Bitcoin Cash or Dash. I specifically want to pay with Bitcoin, and I'm doing this to commemorate Pizza Day, which is when Laszlo Haniex bought those two pizzas for 10,000 Bitcoins. So I'm going to proceed now to buy $25 worth of Papa John's gift card and pay using Bitcoin. So I will continue, proceed to checkout. The system will then ask me how much I'm sending. I'm going to say it's $25 worth of Bitcoin. And I will continue with this process and check out. As we go through this, you will notice now that I will be moving to a third-party payment provider. One of them is BitPay, which is a very popular platform. I use it regularly. And the other one is NetSense. I will continue to use BitPay specifically because I'm very comfortable using BitPay. NetSense is also a reputable brand and eGifter uses them, but I'm comfortable using BitPay. If you're actually doing this, I would suggest you probably use BitPay because I've used them extremely many, many times before. So let me continue to pay using BitPay. The system will then proceed to generate a specific amount for me to send $25 worth of Bitcoin to pay for this. And as I move to the BitPay page, I will then be given the option to either pay with Bitcoin or pay with Bitcoin Cash. As I said, I specifically want to pay using Bitcoin. So the system will give me this address right here to do that. And the next step that I will be doing right now is I am actually, why I'm speaking to you, I am opening up my Bitcoin wallet on my mobile device. I'm looking up my Bitcoin wallet and I am going to scan that address. So the system has just scanned it. I've got my information and I am going to slide to pay. You will notice when I receive the payment on the screen. Ready? Here we go. I am right now entering a separate encryption password. The transaction is being broadcast. Payment sent. Success. I have fully paid the invoice. So right now 
I have been able to trade $25 worth of Bitcoins for a $25 gift card to Papa John's, which I will use to be able to buy a pizza at Papa John's. Today is pizza day. It's May 22nd. I'm going to go ahead and place my order for my pizza from Papa John's to celebrate pizza day. I'm going to be using the gift card that I got at egifter.com and paid with Bitcoin. So let me start placing my order for my specific pizza. And for that one, I am going to So I'm on my way to pick up the Papa John's pizza that I purchased using Bitcoin, uh, using that gift card that I got at eGifter. Now one thing that I want to point out while I'm actually driving there is that it would have been better if I actually could have paid directly using Bitcoin at Papa John's. Unfortunately, that's not happened yet. That being said, there's a lot of new apps that are coming out that are actually looking to bridge that gap. One of them is called Spedden. So it's like spend but replace the D for the N. So Spetten is actually an app and uh, their goal is to actually enable people to use Bitcoin so you can pay it in multiple places. Another option that I could have followed was I could have paid it using a debit card that actually pays from my Bitcoin. And, uh, and I have a debit card that actually enables me to do that. As a matter of fact, for a very long time, Coinbase used to have an agreement with a company called Shift. And the Shift card was a very simple way for you to spend your Bitcoins uh, that you had inside Coinbase uh, using a debit card, a Visa debit card. They have since removed that option and you no longer can use the shift card. However, Coinbase is right now rolling out their own debit cards and it's still not available in the United States, but they're rolling it out in Europe. I expect very soon for that uh, new debit card from Coinbase to be available, which will let you spend your Bitcoins. Now, I'm gonna be arriving very shortly at the Papa John's where I actually placed my order so that I can actually pick up that pizza. Once I have that pizza, I'm actually gonna take some pictures to share them with you. But I'm really excited about this pizza that I'm gonna have on Pizza Day 2019. Let's do this. All I wanna say is just give me some I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so I invite you also to subscribe so we can stay in touch. Also, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, we are changing the world, one blockchain at a time. I'm George Levy. Thank you for watching.